potato salad. So I went ahead and cut up a five pound bag of potatoes and I just cooked them in the pressure cooker. This one does not have a manual setting, but it does have steam, which I took a chance on. Thank God it worked. And I steamed them for 10 minutes. So now I was just letting them cool. And you see, just kind of make them not mashed potatoes, but just kind of fluffy, you know, a little fluffiness. So I'm going to go ahead and get out the mayonnaise, mustard, smoked paprika, salt, pepper, which I already salted the potatoes a little, and some sweet pickle relish. And that's it. So let's get this mixed up and get it back in the fridge i'm watching the menendez brothers i just now turned it on netflix to watch it but i've been letting those potatoes cool i'm going to chop probably this is an acrylic cutting board by the way super cool it goes over your counter and you can't even tell it's there love this thing uh we're just gonna chop maybe half of this i don't need to put an entire onion in there or a little less than half is fine. Okay, we're gonna chop this up and get this in the bowl. Goodness. And you don't have to put onion in it if you don't want. That's absolutely positively optional. I know a lot of people make potato salad a lot of different ways. A lot of people don't like to use mayo a lot of people use i don't know all kinds of different things but we're just going to do my recipe that i have done for years it's the one my mother has done for years and ow almost added a finger to it but yeah so just chopping up those onions let's get the bowl over here why not Could have made those a little smaller, actually. It's fine, though. Nah, we'll just dump them in as they are. No problem. Who cares? Okay. Get those onions in there. Let's throw this away. I love this cutting board. I really do. You get it on Amazon. I got mine at the bin store, of course, because that's where I seem to get everything. Um, let me get this rinse off. Also got these today. I'm getting ready to wash them all. It's a six pack of these. Uh, it's the overnight oats, like mason jars that has a little spoon with it. Really cute. Okay, that's for another day. So we're gonna go ahead. Well, let's do a little salt, a little pepper. Not a whole lot of pepper, just a smidge. This will go on top after the fact. We're gonna go ahead and get some mustard started. I'll just eyeball it. Okay, I gotta put mustard on my shopping list because I'm almost out. And mayonnaise, you can use whatever kind of mayonnaise you choose. There is no wrong answer when it comes to the mayonnaise. Don't know how much to put. I usually just eyeball it. Okay, just eyeball it. And I want to kind of smush this, but I don't want to mash it, right? That's the method to the madness. Is you want to smush, but not mash. I may have to get a spoon out. I don't think this is the best way to do this, but I don't want it to be like mashed potatoes. I mean, a lot of people like big chunks. Some people like it creamy. I like it kind of a little of both. I don't want to bite into potato salad and taste straight potato. You know, you want to get that flavor all up in there. Very important. But I'm going to have to probably use a spoon. Let me see what I can do here. Um, yeah, let's see here. We can do this a little better. So I did get an update it through an email that I didn't see at 7 a.m. or Rather, I think it was 7, 18 a.m. But it just said my package is supposed to be here tomorrow, meaning my couch. So, But still, when I go to actually the tracking and put the number in, 
it has not updated. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Hopefully it shows up. I would be very mad if it didn't. All right, we're just gonna open this and I don't think I wanna put the entire thing in, maybe half. I don't know, we'll see. Let me get this crank to open. Yeah, we'll probably just put in, I don't know, right at half. Good, that means I can actually make more. All right, I won't have to rebuy this. I don't know, I may have to add more. A lot of people like to do dill pickle relish. No, I mean, you can, but the sweet pickle relish is what really makes this good. Oh, I know what I can save this and use it on. I wanna put a little more. Um, I can use this for hot dogs. Yes, honey, yes. So, yeah, we'll keep that. I might have to put more mustard. Don't think I'm gonna need more mayonnaise, so go ahead and get that in the sink and get the lid back on this. Clean as you go, people, clean as you go. Makes all the difference in the world. Okay. Salt and pepper has been put away. Put the onion there. All right, let's get this mixed up. We have our onions. I used to put celery in it, but I just forget to buy celery. So, yeah. Oh, look how pretty it is already. And we're just gonna leave it in this bowl. Okay, we're not gonna do anything too special with it. I do feel like I need to put the rest of that relish in. All right, never mind. Use the whole thing, okay? Just use the whole dang thing. Heck with it. It makes it good. Clean as we go once again. I just dropped a onion skin in there. Let's get that out of there. All right. And it's just that simple, y'all. I mean, some people like to like boil eggs and slice eggs on top. I don't really do that. Most recipes I make, I keep it crazy simple. Okay, <laughs> crazy simple. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I would like to taste it. Let me get a little spoon. I'll do a little taste test and see if, if this is gonna work. Oh my gosh. Mm. We're gonna call that perfect. Aside from just a pinch more mustard. That is it. My goodness. Woo! Let me tell you something. Best potato salad you'll ever put in your mouth. You hear me? I don't fix a lot of things amazing, but this, amazing. All right, I feel like that's mixed up enough. So, what I'm gonna do now is make it look pretty, sorta, kinda. <laughs> it's a little impossible. It's a messy dish. And the piece de la resistance is to cover the top. Boom, baby, we've got potato salad. Have y'all been out of view the whole time? I'm gonna be so mad. Hopefully not. There, now you can see. There's my beautiful potato salad. I'm gonna get some dishes washed and uh, yeah, so there was simple, easy recipe. This potato salad is gonna feed a lot of people or if you're a big eater like me and you love this, I eat this as a meal alone, okay? Anyway, there it is. Tonight we're gonna have soup beans, cornbread, potato salad, sauerkraut, all right, that's it. Enjoy. I gotta go do a grocery list. 12.30 a.m. update. It's getting ready to be one in the morning. We ate dinner way earlier and time has just gone away. Don't know where it went. Um, been working on the living room a little bit. Still no update, even at this hour on the couch. Hopefully soon. Uh, yeah. Been watching all kinds of crazy documentaries and stuff, Netflix and whatnot. And I have changed the lights. I took the pink light. What is Boo Boo doing? Um, I took the pink light from on top of the fireplace and I moved it 
you can see it glowing over there. Well, no, maybe that's the other light. But I have it in there in the dining room. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But I decided to run the green lights along the floor instead of up on the walls. So, I do like that better. And I have it now around the fireplace. I have to get it really close to the edges. You see on that side over here, it's kind of like sticking out. And over on this side, I have to like tighten that up. Um, I'm still not 100% sure how I'm gonna work this out, but I'm gonna work it out some way, somehow. But yeah, I do still have to fix my problems here, the paint, things like that. But yeah, I've just been chilling, working a little bit, but mainly just hanging out and watching all these crazy shows. But I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, whatever time you're watching this, probably tomorrow. Gonna check in the morning on the tracking. And then I have to get this furniture in motion. I gotta get it out of here. I gotta get it downstairs. And make some decisions on decor. And what's gonna go down there. What's gonna be stored away. I did end up putting a few Halloween things in the closet. Two black pumpkins and another pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, what have you. Because it's just unnecessary to have that much out. Plus, it's almost over anyway. Halloween will be here in a week, right? So, yeah, that's where we're at in all of this. Y'all already know. I will keep you updated. Oh, and I moved my little ghost family right over there. But, yeah, we'll get this figured out. And uh, it'll be worth it, I think. So we shall see. And yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a day. The husband has already crashed out and I think I will too. So another day, another living room situation. So I wanna thank you all for watching. Please be sure and subscribe if you have not. 